Adams it's show. It's the Jeff Adams show. The Jeff Adams show. This is for the Live from Lakeland, Florida. It's the Jeff Adams show. Listening to the Jeff Adams Show. The Jeff Adams Show is sponsored by the JA Creative Phone Lines. Are sponsored by Backbone Radio. Call in today at eight one eight nine two seven six two zero five. Absolutely. Yes. There we go. Hello. Hello there. Nice little reverb. Hi, I'm Jeff Adams. I've done this show for three years. Normally during the weekdays, I've done this show. I've done it with co host I've done it with friends. Sometimes I've even done it with family. And uh, tonight is... Uh, Saturday night at 1033. And I didn't do a show this week. Well, because I didn't do a show. A lot's been on my mind lately. You know, just with uh, life, relationships, business. And I got to tell you, life's hard sometimes. And I don't understand why life gets so tough. You hit these road bumps and life flies by you pretty fast. And you realize everything around you is just moving at a fast pace. Sometimes too fast for your own good. Life is precious. I'm sure if you talk to someone that had, that's terminally ill right now, they would tell you to man up, enjoy life. That's true. Life's not that, not that bad. Not terminally ill or anything like that. But they'd probably tell you to man up and deal with it. Which is true. I think a lot of times men, we just get pigeonholed. Saying you got to lead, you got to do this. And we can't really share our feelings very well the way we want to share them. You know, and that just plain sucks. It just sucks. It's like men are just completely closed off. They don't want to talk. What is it with that? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm completely disappointed in my male relationships. And you know what? I'll take some blame for that because I've become one of those people, one of these men that lives a boxed up life and doesn't like to talk. And I'm sick of it. It's unexcusable. I don't want to live this way anymore. It's just no way to live. You know, when you're younger, you have boys that you would hang out with. They were there by your side through thick and thin. It just seems like when you get older, you, know, you just get other responsibilities. So you grow up, get married, you have kids. There's other responsibilities. But what the heck? Is your life so busy that you just can't reach out for people that are going through a hard time that you love, that you used to call your brothers? And I don't know what happened to me. Maybe I was just raised a black sheep. I don't know. 
but I'm part of the problem. I can admit that. I just, uh, I just think that being designed a certain way <laughs> sometimes sucks. It sucks real bad. You know, people thrive in creativity. People go, I wish I was creative and could do these things. But you know what? Sometimes it's a real lonely place. People don't realize how lonely it actually is. And you can put the God conversation in there and says, well, you don't have to be lonely anymore. That's true. You don't have to be lonely anymore. I get that. But I think uh, when you don't hit rock bottom, when you hit rock bottom, you realize you've hit rock bottom. And I just feel like I've been going through that in my life. I've drawn close to God. I ran away from God. I draw close to relationships here on earth. I run away from them. And what for apparent reason? I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I knew why I'm this way. put expectations on people relationships spouses people in general and for the sure fact we think that people can read your minds and guess what you can't you can't read people's minds so we put these damn expectations on people and then we get a, end up getting hurt in the process because we don't know how to communicate properly of how we're feeling or I'm inconsiderate or I didn't do this the right way. No one can clearly understand what I'm saying right now. Not unless you've been through it. I can tell you about a week and a half, I'll be 43 years old. 43 years old. Been here for a while here on planet Earth. I've enjoyed it. Don't have any regrets. When you hit a plateau in your life, you just kind of look at things. And I've been here for three years since I turned 40 or about to turn 40. You just kind of look around and you go, this is, this is it. This is all I ever want. This is, this is what I wanted. All I ever wanted. And you look at it. Disappointed or extremely happy. I'm thankful for that, that I have a wonderful family that, uh, that loves me. I'm thankful for that. But disappointments, they come. They come out at you like out of the darkness and creep up on you. And everybody said, oh, that's anxiety. Well, it's not anxiety because I'm not worried about it. But this cloud of disappointment of just like this funk that you can't get out. That's heartbreaking. And I guess it just seeps out and it affects everybody around you. You know, sometimes I just feel, I feel isolated. I feel like 
like no one ever gets me or no one even really cares and that's not true and I know it's not true but that's how I feel sometimes I just feel that way and it just amazes me that people can't seem to feel anymore that it's wrong you know I went to counseling for friggin a year and a half to try to get in touch with my feelings because I didn't know how to access them because I like to suppress what I feel and I still struggle with that I just don't want to do that anymore and then when you do have feelings people get upset about your feelings because they're not validated Well, damn it, that's not fair. I guess life's not fair. It just just sucks. Feelings, they do come and go. Feelings of disappointment, my God. Is that ever going to go away? It's never going to go away. I keep telling myself that it is. But I don't think it ever will be. You know what, folks? Sometimes in life, we just get caught up. It is something you got to live with. And that's okay. I'm willing to live with it. I'll take that. It's almost being like someone that loses a limb. They didn't plan on living a limb, but they just live with it. They don't use an excuse to keep living life. But you know what? I'm not going to let my handicap hold me back anymore. Not. So, when I do these shows, yeah, I like to goof around, be carefree, and laugh a little bit because, you know, everybody knows the world's a little heavy right now. (laughs) The world can be a very dark place. And that's why I've always tried to do things with a little comedy twist to it. But you know what? I got to be transparent. I got to be transparent. And that's not for you guys. That's for me. It's for me. Well, I am going to put this up as a podcast. as one of the shows. So I have to get this off my chest. This is real stuff. You know what? I don't need people worrying about me either. I don't need my flo- I don't need my phone blowing up once this hits on demand archives. Hey, you okay, dude? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. I talk to people. I'm not going to do anything drastic or crazy with my life. There's no huge changes happening. And you know, I, I don't need the God cheerleader speech either. Well, you know, if you did this, you know, just gotta put your faith. Yeah, I know putting your faith, I know putting faith into your to to into God makes a world of difference. Give you peace. But sometimes it can't take away pain. Just can't. And I've, I've had this discussion. It's just not me. It's many people, men that I've talked to that have dealt with the same issues that I'm going through. They say, when's it going to end? I'm just going through the motions. Because I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy. Because I've talked to other people, other men that are going through this. 
And a lot of them just put on the charade. But deep down in their soul, they're going through the motions just because they feel like they have to. And you know, it's probably the right thing to do because you got responsibility, you got a job, your husband, your father. It's the right thing to do. I applaud them for going through the motions. But I think so much responsibility is put on our backs. And we get judged too harshly because the way we're designed and the stuff that we have to battle with day in and day out. It sucks. It sucks. But you guess what? Man up and just do it, right? Man up and do it. Get your army hat on. Let's go. But just carry out the good fight. Let's keep going. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, that's the only logical thing you can possibly do is to keep going and keep moving on. That's all you can do. Keep up the good fight and keep it going. Man up. Man up. You know what? But every once in a while, it's good for just a a man to cry. And if that's so wrong, sorry. Sometimes it's just good to throw it all on the line. You know, I like broadcasting so much. I think it's the only platform. This is the first show I've ever done by myself sitting here. You know why I'm doing it by myself? Because I can't get interrupted. And sometimes people just need to talk. And some people just sometimes just need to talk without feel like they're trying to be fixed. Even when you go to a counseling session, someone tries to interject and tries to lead you in the right path of fixing you or trying to fix and come with a solution. You know, like broadcasting, so I can turn this mic on whether you choose to listen to it or not. I'm not going to be interrupted. Maybe that's why I like it so much. A guy that had a speech impediment, could barely talk, overcame fear, and lo and behold, had a desire to be in entertainment. Look at me now. Put it all on the line. I'm a big man, right? We just live this false reality, social media, being someone that you're not. You know, if you're a man and you're doing it, or even if you're a woman and doing it, just stop it. Let the people in your life love you. Don't be something that you're not. Be transparent. Don't hide your stuff. They just bring you pain. They bring you pain. And you don't want to go down those dark alleys. Because down those dark alleys are really bad things you can get into. You don't want to go there. Been there, done that. So what up, man? Man, if you hear this, hit me up. Just hit me up. Let me know that you heard this. It moved you, motivated you. You feel like you're going through the same stuff over and over again. You still feel empty. Like, hey, Jeff, I've died. You know, I'm going, you know, got a relationship with God. I just, but I feel this way. It's okay, man. It's going to be okay. I promise you it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But you got to talk about it. You got to talk about it. That's the bottom line, man. 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 Or whoever is listening to this. It's okay. It's all going to be okay tomorrow. Why? Just look around you. Look at what you got. Just count your blessings. But I'm just saying all this when you hit your, these dark periods of pain and not understanding why you're feeling a certain way, just talk about it. Just talk about it. It's just what I'm doing right now. I'm just talking about it. Don't keep it in. You don't want to keep it in. It'll leave you down. 
some bad roads. But this is the uh, Jeff Adams show for this week. Not what you expected. I'm not going crazy. But uh, I'm going to live a very transparent life with those around me. And when I do broadcast. Because people, people need that. Quit coming with solutions and trying to fix people. Because guess what? We, we can't fix people. We can't. That's ultimately in God's hands to fix us. And I'm guilty of it. And I sit there and someone tells me their heart and soul and all I want to do as a man is fix it. I want to fix it for them. Ah, blah, blah, blah. You hear blah, blah. Well, this is what you need to do. You need to, you know, you need to fix, you need to do this. Sometimes people don't want to hear that. Some people, sometimes people just want to be heard and loved and looked into the eye and said, you know what? It's going to be okay. Because in the end, it will be. So do yourself a favor. You got someone you love. And sometimes the situations may not be ideal. Just love them anyways. Listen to them. Give them your time. Give them your attention. Or her. Because they deserve that. You, you don't understand what that does for people. Instead of talking, just listen. I'm here by myself. I'm listening. Listening to my own voice. But God, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'll see you guys next week.